All right. Well, I'm back from work, um, but before I left, I did get the uh, the the frame all built for this uh, Perusa. I I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but Perusa i3 frame or the kit. Um, yeah, uh, I think I didn't have enough screws of the right length. I think these were the uh, 18m by M3 by 16. Yeah, 18 of them M3 by 16. I think you need 20. If I count all the different screws that I need, I think by default you need 20. Uh, might be an error on on um, Folger Technologies part, or I don't think I put any extra screws in places I wasn't supposed to. Um, so I've taken temporarily anyway two off of another portion of the kit out of a different hardware bag. We'll see if there's leftover bits and pieces as I move along. If not, I'll have to probably buy some more. Um, if I am anxious to get this thing up and running though, so if for some reason I don't get a chance to buy them, I'll probably take the two out of the middle here first, because that's what the length was. Um, use them where I need them, and then eventually replace those, because that's easy access later. Um, let's see, let's see. Yes, indeed, uh, this particular plastic um, acrylic it is, it is fragile. Um, I got a couple of little uh, hairline fractures at some of the uh, at some of the 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 T holes that hold the nuts on. So I'm trying to be more sensitive about that. But yeah, be aware that it is fragile. Also, um, I was struggling uh, just a little bit trying to fit the nut in the T hole. That sounded wrong. Um, it seems like there was just a bit too tight of a fit, and I really had to kind of press it in. I'm talking about, you know, for example, here and here. One of the motor mount triangle pieces, one of these, uh, really gave me a bit of a hard time. Um, so I think a few of my screws are going off at a touch of an angle. I don't see that being a problem, but just be aware that you might run into that. Um, Otherwise, the frame is built, and I'm going to move on to the next section. Uh, out of what they say is the frame hardware set, there are plenty of parts still unused at the moment. I'm sure I'll come back to those at some point. And uh, at the moment, we haven't used these pieces, which I'm positive are the caps that go on top here that lock in your... Uh, your smooth rod for uh, for the bearings, the the vertical axis, the Z axis, your uh, linear bearings. So those have not been used yet, but otherwise uh, the frame is built. All right, I'm going to let you go for now, and uh, I'll pick you back up when I move on to the next portion.